What is Bloom syndrome? Bloom syndrome is a gene mutation that makes the people with the disorder more susceptible to cancer and have irregular growth patterns. People with Bloom syndrome, also known as Bloom Terra Metriac syndrome, usually don't grow taller than 5 feet and have a pale skin that can be easily damaged by intentional light, such as sunlight. Infants born with Bloom syndrome are usually underweight and shorter than a baby without the gene mutation. People with the mutation have a high susceptibility to diabetes, learning disabilities, infertility in both men and women, and chronic obstruction pulmonary disease, also known as COPD. What causes Bloom syndrome? Bloom syndrome is a genetic mutation that can be handed down to the next generation. One out of every 50,000 people have this genetic mutation. Bloom syndrome is caused by mutation in the BLM gene. The BLM gene is responsible for the production of a protein from the RecQ helicase family, which is responsible for maintaining a healthy cell structure and duplication. Helicases are enzymes that bind DNA together, but can also split double helix strands of DNA in half so they can duplicate and produce other cells. Symptoms of Bloom syndrome and treatment. Bloom syndrome has many characteristics such as growth deficiencies, increased risk of multiple cancer, infertility in both males and females, learning disabilities, susceptibility to ear and lung infections, and other serious medical conditions that can turn up at a young age. Many of these signs show at a young age, people with the genetic mutation have an average age of 27 when they are diagnosed with cancer. Bloom syndrome doesn't have a specific treatment, but the risk of getting cancer can be lowered if someone that suffers from the mutation stays out of direct sunlight or applies sunscreen before doing so. People with Bloom syndrome do not have to live in close proximity to the hospital, but it could be beneficial if they suffer from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, as a side effect. For the families of the people that are affected by Bloom syndrome, there is a medical cost, but it varies on the severity of the case and if the person suffering from it is responsible in regards to restrictions caused by the gene mutation. For example, if someone has Bloom syndrome, spends prolonged lengths of time in sunlight and eats large amounts of food that contains sugar, then they are more likely to suffer from more side effects. If the person does have these side effects, then there is a medical cost with treatment of cancer and equipment to do with diabetes. There would also be an impact on freedoms of the family because of time that would be spent caring for the person if they were affected by COPD or diabetes. Bloom syndrome is a genetic mutation that is passed down through generations with signs appearing at a young age. Both male and females of any ethnic group can be affected by this condition but is most prevalent in people of Eastern European descent. Bloom syndrome has the characteristics that can be seen at birth or at a young age. Infants with Bloom syndrome are usually underweight and shorter than infants without the genetic mutation. Since it is a genetic mutation, this condition stays with the patient throughout his or her life with other signs developing later in life. Females hit menopause at an earlier age and there is a much higher chance of getting cancer at a lot younger age. There are three ways that Bloom syndrome can be diagnosed. Two of the methods used to diagnose Bloom syndrome are done cytogenically with one of them being a certain quadrilateral exchange in cultured blood lymphocytes. The other cytogenic method of diagnosing Bloom syndrome is noticing a greatly increased number of sister chromatid exchanges in any type of cultured cell. The third method is done by examining the BLM through a molecular genetic analysis. These methods of diagnosing Bloom syndrome can be done at birth and it can be done by examining the DNA. Bloom syndrome is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner. This means that there is a 25% chance that the offspring of a couple that both have the gene defect will have the condition. There is a 50% chance that the offspring will carry the gene defect but will not show any signs of it and there is a 25% chance that the offspring will not have any signs of the gene mutation. Genetic counselling can be used for people that know they are carrying the condition to find out if they are at risk of passing it on to a child. This is extremely useful in the case of Bloom syndrome, because to have offspring with the condition, both parents would need to have the same gene mutation. 
If one of the couple is aware that they have the condition, they could have their partner tested to make sure that he or she doesn't also have the same gene mutation. This information can be used to prepare the couple or to give the couple insight into the situation that they might be heading into. A bibliography and a glossary page is found on the PowerPoint provided. The PowerPoint also contains the overview of this whole presentation.